Hi, it's Tamara here from the EFT Training Centre, Transformation for Women, and I'm back for my daily tapping to release fears and anxieties and worries about the coronavirus and the implications of it. So um, today uh, we're running a, a training. <clears throat> so we've got people coming to the training and I'm putting together some Singapore style safety uh, tips. So my first one is that I've got this um, infrared thermometer that you actually don't have to touch your skin to take your, th your temperature and it goes green if it's um, safe. So that's one thing we're going to be doing. In terms of snacks, we've got like no biscuits, but all kind of snacks that are pre-wrapped so that nobody has to like touch anyone else's food. So that's um, another safety feature that we're going to do. And um, so that's where I am this morning. So that's why we've got an early start for the tapping uh, video. So um, if you haven't done EFT before, it's like emotional free, it's called emotional freedom techniques. It's also known as tapping. It's like acupuncture for emotions without the use of needles. And the invitation is to do what I do and say what I say. And if you don't like what I do or say, then simply don't do it. So let's get started. So even though this coronavirus situation seems to be getting bigger and bigger, affecting more and more people, creating more and more anxiety. Um, lots of people are having to self-isolate. Lots of vulnerable people are on their own and they shouldn't have contact with other people. And that makes me feel sad and worried for them and concerned about my loved ones and concerned about the future because it seems this isn't going to go away quickly and I feel a bit panicky and worried and not sure what to do and worried the country isn't doing the right things for us worried the country isn't keeping us safe. All of these fears and all of these anxieties, acknowledging them fully now. And I deeply and completely love and accept myself and my feelings. All of these fears all of these anxieties, all of these worries, all of this panic, all of this overwhelm, fear for myself getting ill, fear for others getting ill around me. Fear about leaving my house and catching it. Fear about there not being enough food and medication and toilet paper. Fear about the long term implications. Fear about my livelihood. Fear about not having work. Fear of there not being enough work. Sadness for the travel industry that is struggling so much. Sadness about the world changing. Letting go of the old normal. We seem to be in transition and maybe the world needs to find a new normal and that feels scary. Acknowledging all of my feelings 
And just take a really deep breath in now. And as you take the next breath in, breathe out all that anxiety and stress. And acknowledging the things I am grateful for right now. Grateful that I have a roof over my head. And I'm just going to think, say things that I'm grateful for. I don't know if they're true for you, but if they're not, say other things. <clears throat> grateful I have enough food. Grateful I have loving, kind people around me. Grateful that right now I'm healthy. Grateful that my body works well. Grateful, grateful for my home. Grateful for my family. Grateful for my friends. Grateful the sun is shining today. Just noticing the things that you're grateful for right now, however big or small. Grateful for the kindness that is arising from people, from communities that I'm seeing online and in person. <clears throat> and I'm infusing the possibility of even more kindness. Kindness that we can support each other through this. Trust that that is possible. We're all in this together. And I'm open to the possibility of knowing and trusting that I'm not alone. And that we can support and help each other. All of these feelings. I'm open to the possibility of infusing more trust and hope into every cell of my being. I'm sending that trust and hope out to you. I'm sending that trust out into the community. I'm sending that trust and hope out through to everyone in my country. I'm sending that trust and hope out through into the world. I'm infusing that trust and hope into every cell of my body. And the more I trust, the more relaxed I've become. And the more relaxed I become, the stronger my immune system becomes. And the stronger my immune system becomes, the easier it is for my body to fight off viruses and illnesses. So I want super immunity right now. Super immunity for me, super immunity for you, super immunity for my family, super immunity for my friends, super immunity for my community, super immunity for the country super immunity for the world, 
So just breathe in that energy of super immunity now. I am open to the possibility of magic and miracles. And put your hands in the centre of your chest and say transform and take a deep breath, transform. So if you've enjoyed and benefited from this um, video, from this tapping, please do use it as often as you can to help you feel strong. I've been making videos every day for the last few days and I'm going to continue for the next few days. So do check out my other videos. And if you want to know more about EFT, then do download a free EFT manual from our website, eft-courses.org.uk. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.